Hello people, this is Mark from Color Change Works. Guys, I hope you are well. In today's video, I want to talk about a story that I read from one of my connections on LinkedIn. And uh, when I read it, it was had a big impact on me, purely because of my past experiences, particularly with the knock in my life but also with regards to a few other people that I know and my observations of how they operate in the world in terms of their interactions with other people. And the story goes like this. Now, whether it be true or not, it doesn't matter, but the, the, the message is really, really powerful. And I want us to get the message today. And I hope that when you hear the message that it will cause you to do a little bit of inward searching, some soul searching and seeing if you do the same and change accordingly. So the story is like this. The husband and wife were sitting eating breakfast and the next door neighbor hung her washing on the washing line. The wife turns around and says to the husband, look at our neighbor hanging dirty washing on the line. What a disgrace. And the husband decided to remain silent. A few days later, the same thing happens. The neighbor hangs her washing on the washing line. And the wife cants to the, to the husband and says, she's a disgrace to society. Look at it. Hanging dirty washing on the washing line. Why doesn't she just consider buying some different washing powder or maybe a new washing machine? Come on, man. This is, this is not good. And the husband decides to say nothing. Again, a few days later after that, same thing happens. They're having breakfast and the neighbor again hangs washing on the washing line. And by this time, the, the wife is a little bit frustrated and annoyed that how on earth this neighbor can be so lazy, so ignorant of the fact that the washing is still dirty and it's being hung up on the washing line. And the wife says to the husband, I reckon I need to go around there and educate this neighbor about a new washing machine, about the latest washing powder. Can't she see that she's a disgrace to, to society? Who taught her how to be a wife? It's a shame. I'm disgusted living next to a woman who's got such low standards. And again, the husband says nothing. A few days later, the same thing happens. The husband, the, the neighbor hangs washing on the washing line. And the wife says, finally, she's done something different. It's about time. I couldn't see anything being delivered, so she must have changed the washing powder because I didn't see the washing machine being delivered. It's about time that she actually does something that's proper man and at this point the husband turns around and says actually i got up early this morning and i cleaned our windows model of the story according to my connection on linkedin is this and this is what i want us to get is this 
We cannot look through the windows of our lives with criticism, negativity, hatred, anger. Because it blinds us to the truth of what's actually there. In order to see things clearly, we need to clean these windows in order to avoid judgments that are unnecessary, but more importantly, not true. How we see people is not necessarily how they are. It is a closer reflection of how we are. We project ourselves, our core self, when we start speaking about others and how we speak about others. Not necessarily what we say, but the manner in which we say it. And that is that dirty window that filters who we are when we start speaking in angry, aggressive, critical, bitter, negative manner, and so on and so forth. Likewise, when we start speaking in positive terms, it too reflects who we are, not necessarily the object of our discussion, that other person. So what I want to say to us today is simply this. Pay attention to what and how we speak about ourselves and how we speak about other people because that is who we are. And if your window is dirty, my, my suggestion, my encouragement to you today is simply this. Go change the way you clean your windows. Because maybe you need to buy some different detergent to clean the windows with. It is a sad thing when we speak to other people in such negative and critical ways. And then we wonder why we don't have friends. We wonder why we're not liked. We wonder why we feel lonely. It is simple, it is because our windows are very dirty. And unfortunately, it does not reflect accurately how we see others, but it reflects incredibly accurate who we are as people. That's all I want to say. So, for my connection on LinkedIn, Martin, this is a powerful story. It's an incredible lesson to learn. That's all I want to say today. It's, I want to bring that important, valuable lesson. I want to bring it to your attention. Because ultimately, people see us who we are through the way that we speak about them. We need to change and be more positive and hopeful, constructive. Get rid of all the dirty windows that we project ourselves through. Clean them. That's all I want to say at this point. I hope you've enjoyed the little story. I certainly did. And if you've got dirty windows... Cleaner, my friend. Whatever this story has done for you today, please put some lines in the comments box. Share, like, subscribe, hit the bell, pick all, all the YouTube admin. You guys know exactly what to do. But for now, this is Mark from Counter Works, and I'll speak to you soon.